I would like to replace this outlet with this GFCI outlet. Before we unscrew the outlets, we have to check, double check always if there is a power or not. Okay, we're good. There's no sign that this outlet is hot. Even though we turned it off, we should be always checking before removing the outlet with a power tester. So when you remove the outlet, you might have a line coming in, load, and sometimes you will just have two wires. If you wanna connect, that's easier. So let's remove these wires, and then we're gonna get the power back on to define which, which pair of wires are our line and which pair of our uh, wires are our load. So easiest way to remove is get some uh, flat hat screwdriver like this and there are little pins for the screws for the screwdriver to push that pin in So once we have these out Let's remove the ground. So now we have wire nuts on just for safety in case if you have pets or kids around. Uh, but before you do this job, just keep them away. But just to be safe, I put these on uh, for demonstration purposes. So put these on, go turn the breaker on just for a moment to define which pair of wires are our load and which pair of wires are our line. So, so with my power tester, I can now see which one is my line. So it looks like this one is hot at the moment and we don't have a power here at the bottom. I'm gonna go shut off the power and then we're gonna install the outlet. When you open any GFCI outlet for the first time, the load side will have this sticker on. So you can basically have the line side on first and then remove this and then connect the load side. So anytime you wire an outlet, switch, or any device, first thing you wanna connect is the ground wire. So we're gonna hook up the ground wire first and also I do not recommend using drill when it comes to connecting these wires so any flathead screwdriver will do it and also you don't want to have it super tight as well just make sure that it's tight enough so it's not loose and just maybe do a little bit of a pull test before you move on to the next wire so now as we know top wires are our lines so and also with this outlet you have silver screws on the left side and brass screws on the right hand side these are going to be our hot black wire and the silver screw will be our white okay so let's connect the neutral wire here so in my case i didn't have to strip the wires but many times pay attention if previous guy had to strip this and they maybe cut the copper here so make sure if it's about to break just cut it off strip new section of the wire and just enough for the insert and then tighten the screw 
and then tighten this wire. First your ground, second is your neutral, third we're gonna get our hot wire on the other side which is our black wire. So that's tight enough. Again, pull test, make sure it's not loose. And now we're gonna remove the bottom sticker here for the load side. Tighten it. Let a bit of a pull test, it's solid. Now let's switch to, again, pull test, make sure it's solid. And now when you push in the wire outlets into the box, make sure these wirings are just not going randomly in there. There's a way to put it in. Make sure that you create this little bit of a S curve so the wires, um, go in nicely just like this If the faceplate is cricket or you want to level it, I would just plug in this plug test and you can just twist it a little bit just so it's even. So now before we put the faceplate on, I would like to turn on the power and see if it's working properly. Let's test it. Let's now press reset button you might want to push it with something, your screwdriver or something like this, so it goes all the way in and it clicks. When this green light comes on, that means it's on. Now we can plug it in and see it's wired correctly. And also with these outlets, I can reset it from, I can test it from here to see if it trips or not. There you go, it has tripped. Now I can press it again. And also I can just press the test button to see if it trips. There you go. So now we have working GFCI outlet and that's how you install it. Pretty easy, hope it helps. Thanks for watching.